Hello, I'm Terry Garvey. And I'm Derek Mooney. And this is... Read Right Now. We're here on the battlements of Doggy Castle and because it's the final programme in the series we're going to review some of the most useful learning to learn points we've covered. And we'll be looking at how you can move your learning a few steps further on and just to prove a point today I'm a man with a mission because I'm going to try and find out just what it's like for someone who decides to take that very brave step and sign up to improve their reading and writing. We'll be meeting Stephen Nash from Killinarden in Dublin who's made learning a priority in his life right now. We'll have our usual hints and tips. We'll be covering reading a map, changing money. Reading a travel ticket, and the spelling tip this week is all about synonyms. But since it is the final programme in the series, Derek, we're going to be too busy to meet up later. Well, I'll see you again soon. This display looks back over the history of Dorky, and in today's programme, we're taking a quick look back over the series. One thing we covered was the importance of recognising the skills and learning experiences you already have. And that's particularly crucial if you're someone who's been away from formal learning for quite a while. Think about all the things that you've already learned. If you run a home and family, you've learned how to plan and organise. If you're keen on sport, think about all you know about your team, probably goal scoring averages, league tables, all that. Somewhere along the way, probably without even recognising it, you've learned all those things. If you can learn those, you can learn more. Well, I'm in Bray, I couldn't resist the opportunity of coming into the National Sea Life Centre here on the seafront and having a look at all the fish. Because when you come into a place like this, you learn so much about marine life that it really is worth a visit. Now, if you've already got a copy of our Read Right Now workbook or support booklet, well, then you'll have the free phone number, which should help you find the nearest adult learning centre. If, however, you don't, well, pick up the phone and dial this number now. It's 1800 20 20 65. Somebody is standing by to take your call. When you get through to our free phone telephone number, you'll be asked where you live, and then you'll be given the address of the nearest adult learning centre to you. Inside of the Read Right Now work pack, you will find a leaflet just like this. It contains a list of all the VEC adult learning services throughout Ireland. There's bound to be one near to you. And to get to wit, you may need to know how to read a travel ticket. Although an airline ticket can look quite complicated, the type of information on travel tickets is generally the same. There are a few key bits of information to look out for that might make it easier. Airline tickets are issued when you pay for the ticket, either directly from the airline, from a travel agent, or from the web. We can see this is a return flight ticket. The first flight is from Dublin to Rome on January 10, 2003, leaving at 1600 hours or 4 in the afternoon. The return flight is on January 14th and leaves Rome for Dublin at 07.30 hours or 7.30 in the morning. The name of the passenger generally goes on the top left. The flight number is also given in both cases and this is very useful for when you're checking your flight on the information screens in the airport. The fare on a ticket means its price. Here the ticket costs €275, Euro, including airport tax. Every ticket has its own number. It is useful to make a note of the ticket and flight numbers just in case you lose them. Returning to learning is a big step for anyone. But this was especially true for Stephen Nash, whose past experience of education was not a good one. The school for me was, um, wasn't what you call a fantastic experience. I came out of school as I went into it, no I'm not. I didn't even know the time, it was a man in my own town learnt me the time. 
you went in there and I was just sitting down, bored stiff, so I was, uh, hoping that the end of the day I come as quick as I could. You'd be in the class, just something go wrong, you were put standing in a corner. I, looking back on it, I, it was an awful experience, so I was. I was uh, 12 and a half when I left school and uh, I started working in the creamery in Ross Square. The man in the creamery you now, he sort of put it nicely to me. I was looking to go out on the milk round one day and he said, I think your job will be in here, he said, because he said there'd be a lot of um, doing book book if you go out there, he said, you know. Uh, so in other words, you can nearly read it from there yourself, you know. I've seen jobs there that I could have had chances with, like, but I was just knocked back again, like, because I couldn't do the magic thing, take the pen, write the words and that. That's the way it affected me, so I did. I knew nothing in, in life. I thought education to me was go up and get drunk up the town, forget about it, wipe it out of your head. The effect I had on me, I uh, ended up with the depression and that. But I could never say what caused it, but now when I look back, I say it was the way I was, because like, you couldn't have a conversation with anyone. You're, you know, you're hiding away in a corner, as the, you know, you're afraid, well, if this lad is more educated than I am, I, I can't even read or write, and uh, he's, got, he's going to put me down straight away. As an adult learner, you make a conscious choice. You decide what it is you want to learn, and when, where, and why you do your learning. It could be to get a better job, it could be to get promotion, it could be to take up a whole new career or to help the children with their homework. Whatever it is that drives you to learning, keep your goal in mind, review your learning constantly and you'll soon see results. If you want to find out about any adult learning service for yourself, call into your local Citizens Information Centre. They can tell you all you need to know, anything from social welfare entitlements to legal advice. And the best part is, it's free. It's also independent and it's totally confidential. And there are centres like this one here in Bray, scattered throughout the country. So don't be shy, just call in and the staff in there will be only too happy to tell you all you need to know. Now Porrigan, tell me about this one here. A synonym is a word that has the same meaning as another word. For example, small and little mean the same thing. The small house or the little house convey the same message. The words small and little are synonyms. Synonyms are useful when you want to avoid repetition or overuse of one specific word to describe something. If you send a postcard to a friend when you're on holiday, it could read like this. Having a wonderful time here, hotel is lovely, Beach is wonderful, weather is wonderful, the people are lovely. We went to a wonderful nightclub last night after a lovely tour of the island. See you soon. We could make the postcard more interesting by using different words instead of repeating the words wonderful and lovely. Having a wonderful time here. Hotel is super, beach is great, weather is beautiful and the people are charming. We went to a trendy nightclub last night after an enchanting tour of the island. See you soon. In the second example, we use many different words instead of just lovely and wonderful. It's a much more descriptive message and it conveys a better image of an enjoyable holiday. The best place to find alternative words is in a book called A Thesaurus, which is like a dictionary, but which gives you a list of synonyms for a word. The old idea of intelligence was how well you did at school or in IQ tests. Now hopefully in this series we've not that idea on the head because as you've seen, it's not how intelligent you are, but how you are intelligent. Remember we talked about multiple intelligences and the way people use intelligence. Research has shown that people use intelligence in very different ways. Here is the entrance. And there, on the left of the entrance, you can see the stoop, or what would have been known as the font. It's also a question of the variety of ways you learn. Some people learn best by listening, others by doing, and more learn best by seeing something. 
So when you're planning your learning in the future, think about the style of learning that suits you best. Stephen Nash is putting a lot of effort into changing his life around at the moment. He's attending an adult learning centre in Tala village. <laughs> I was actually down in the uh, doll office and I met this girl and she was uh, interviewing people. So I just happened to listen and she was talking about reading and writing to someone. So and I walked out and I said, oh, and I said that, should, that suits me. I said, this is what I want. So she made an appointment with me for an interview. I went up and seen her, so she explained it all to me. I'd, I'd have a one-to-one -one tutor, and then you'd have your maths one thing and that. And uh, I said, I'll give this a go. But in the beginning, it was strange to me, so I was. Like, there was people there to read and write, like I was sitting down there, like, doing maths. And I said to myself, these people can read and write, and I ain't sitting down with them. But as time went on, they were the best friends, like, you meet umpteen people like yourself, you meet highly educated people that and all. But from we were in there, we're all the one. There's no one higher than anyone, no one lower than anyone. We're all just one block like. And studying the maths and studying art, I do a small bit now on the computers as well. And I'm, my main one then is the reading and writing. But when I went in to do the reading and writing first, I just said, uh, yeah. it was like Paul Golden going to do magic. How am I going to do it? Like, I don't know, it's coming to me. So it is. I know the different sounds and the different words and that. Like, at times, it's such as I'm not getting this. And then you get a breakthrough, you learn something on it, and it gives you a, a great jump up. So it is. And it says, just like an early day's book, anywhere. You'll get a good day and you'll get a bad day. Like, but I'm going to have more good days than I have bad days down there. It's fantastic, so it is.